You got your wish. Nathan Peterman, Bears quarterback. But here's the problem. The Bears could still somehow finish fourth in the NFL draft. Not if they lose. Nah. I mean, well, not a, no. If they lose, no. They lose, it's... But the, but the fourth pick is still very much a possibility. I need you to bulls this for me. Think about the lottery for a second and the bulls last three or four picks. Yeah, but the Bears have never had a number one... Remember all those pick. sevens? When what's the closest the Bears have had? It was the Wally Chambers. It was the coin flip, right? That became Terry Bradshaw. Is that right? I would not know. I think it was seventy three or seventy four, where they actually had a coin flip with the Steelers and lost it, and the Bears took Wally Chambers. But oh, you have Steelers. little faith. No, I'm 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 feeling it. I'm feeling it. I I think they're going to get out there. They're going to lose like champs, and somehow. The Texans are going to overcome Sam Ellinger. Who's a Texan? Well, yes. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. Yeah, that was, the, that was his dream, right? They always show those videos of him playing football in the yard and pretending to be like Major Applewhite or whoever oh, who's pretending well, to Dan, be. Well, Dan, nobody's dream is to play for the Houston Texans. That's just crazy talk. No, I, 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 that's completely understandable. That football team was invented two years ago. Yeah, you're not even kidding. But his his dream was to play for the Longhorns, a quarterback. Yeah, and he did it. He did it. Maybe but, you know, it was Chris Sims he was impersonating. That's Sims who it could was. Ball. That's who it was. It was there, there. There's video of like a toddler Sam Ellinger dressed as Chris Sims. So you're saying there's a chance? He, yeah, I know you're very happy about this development for the tank. I yes. also think it's just good for Justin Fields' health. That guy is getting. That guy's yeah. gotten beat up this season. Yeah, that's fine too. Whatever you want to say. We don't his need to too. see this. Fine. Yes, his health. Yes. Well, let's hear Matt Eberflus making it official. All right. So Justin Fields came in on Monday morning with a sore hip, and he, you know, which many times happens to players. You know, they come in with a <laughs> soreness that they didn't anticipate to be like that. You're and overdoing so we, it. We sent him to get an MRI <laughs> on his hip that Dang showed it. that he had a strain in his hip. Uh -huh. So. He's not going to be at full speed this week, and the medical staff has ruled him out this for dude. this week. This is not a long-term injury, so not. just so we know that. <laughs> this is not a Nathan real injury. Peterman long -term. will be the starting quarterback. This, that is fantastic. That is you talking. Are about you the, messing with good parent Matty okay, Reflus okay, right okay, now? I know, but that he is, is that's, earnest. Oh, that, that is the funniest thirty seconds. Like, well, this this this, this, this is the most overcompensatory obvious lie and i love you for it man i would give you a big hug and a smooch on the cheek if you walked in right now because i just think this is adorable this is even funnier than yesterday when he was like i read it i, I read because someone showed it to me I, I would never go out of my way to read it by myself somebody i made somebody told me this play play the oh. play the drop play oh, it play is... the drop it was obsessed with last i week. haven't heard any of that i didn't hear all of it i heard a lot about most of it but what i did hear i did not hear any of that yep mm -hmm. all right so justin fields came in on monday morning with a sore hip and he you know which many times happens no. to players you know they come in with a soreness that they didn't anticipate <laughs> to be like that and so we we sent him to get an mri on his That's hip so that showed that he had a strain it's in his going. hip so yep. he's not going to be Sorry. at full speed this week, and the medical staff has ruled him out for this week. This is not a long-term injury, so just so we know that. Nathan Peterman will be the starting quarterback. This is Hold on. Your... Can you, you know show a strain in a hip? You is can. That a... And, and you know, if you did an MRI on every NFL player, they would all show a strain in their hip. We Here we were just Everyone. talking about the importance of preventative care. Oh, my God. That's, that is absolute gold. It, it, this happens uh, all the time. It, it, you guys, you guys come in and, and, and it has his hip hurt, and and we made sure that we did the diagnosis. And it showed it. It showed it. It showed, it showed he had a strain. It did. This is my opinion. Uh, we're not making. We're definitely not making this up. But it's not a long term injury. It's not even a real injury. But it, but it's not a long term injury. It'll be fine. But it showed it because the MRI said he has a strain, so we can't play him. On the scale of one to Schmovid, where is this? Oh, this is this is this is past Schmovid. Past Schmovid. Yes, reason. This is reasons. This is like cancel socks Bas fest. Basketball reasons. This is cancel socks fest for various reasons. I miss the days of like yes. Jerry Stackhouse being traded. Then he's like, "Oh, it's cool. They're gonna come in. Then I'm gonna resign with the team." Do you remember those days? Those days of NBA 
trades the where West. the trades didn't make any sense, and then players would just be like, "Oh god, yeah, they're gonna cut me, and then I'm gonna go back to the other team." I remember, and the NBA was like, "You're not supposed to say it." Then they canceled all our fun. Well, I remember covering the NBA when the NBA used to lie about injuries to stash guys on IR, and the Bulls had to keep coming up with the heel synovitis and patellar tendonitis, and everyone's getting these, these strange maladies and starting to have fun with it. And and I remember talking to Chip Schaefer about it. I laid eczema, I, and I, I said, "That would be mine." I said, "Why do they all have?" I have that. These why do they all have these 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 patella tendonitis and 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 off the record. He's like turn your recorder off. He goes, look. If you went to this time of the season, you could diagnose every NBA player with patella tendonitis. He said it would show up in the MRI just cuz they jump for a living. They all have sore feet. They all have patella tendonitis. What if they're all reverse vampires? <laughs> That was the next. That was the next logical step in the well, joke. The, the the best was when the, Keith Tower. I don't know if you remember Keith Tower on from Notre Dame, big white dope ginger on the, on the Magic. You were painted and, on the redheads today, and he well, he was so bad, and he spent the entire year on their injured list with non healing skin lesion. And it, what what happened was he he had a sunburn when training camp started for something like went away, and he was sunburned, and like wait. You're going to be on the IL all they're going to stash you it's because you had to pretend. Do you remember Greg Popovich when he just didn't play people and it just said old? Yes. And then the NBA is like, you can't do that. And didn't he do it on a, like a TNT game? D- DNP old, DNP old. I would be like DNP bad. But, but... No, but he sat all his stars oh and then God. said they were all old. That Eberflus thing. That, this thing, this definitely, this is definitely something that happens in this league. This happens. Some of the guys show up and they know they were hurt, and then we tell them they were. I mean, I mean, they say they're hurt, and well, then Ryan Poles tells me to say, "Wait, no!" And then he's hurt, and the MRI showed it. It did. It showed it. It's real. It's definitely not fake. I picture like the Austin Powers scene where he's trying to back that uh, that utility cart up in the hallway, or or I'm thinking like, well, sweetie, sometimes juvenile warruses don't have a filter, and they just do whatever they want in public, even after they've canceled your fireworks shows. Then they just lie on their backs, and they do things that are inappropriate to do in public. And we have to turn the other cheek. Like, just look at the pictures. Just Google Thor the walrus, and it will all make sense. <laughs> Play Eberflus again. All right, so Justin Fields came in on Monday morning with a sore hip, and he... You know, which many times happens to players, you know, they come in with a soreness that they didn't anticipate to be like that. And so we, we sent him to get an MRI on his hip. That showed that he had a strain in his hip. So he's not going to be at full speed this week, and the medical staff has ruled him out for this week. This is not a long-term injury, so just so we know that. Nathan Peterman will be the starting quarterback. I don't even play poker, but I want to play poker against Matty Eberflus. He does seem really nice. That was so cute. Yeah, six three zero nails it. You can tell by how many times he says "hip." All right, so Justin Fields came in on Monday morning with a sore hip. One, and he, you know, which many times happens to players. You know, they come in with a soreness that they didn't anticipate to be like that, and so we we sent him to get an MRI on his hip. That Two. showed that he had a strain in his hip. Three. So. <laughs> He's not going to be at full speed this week. <laughs> we said him to get an MRI on his hip, and that's what showed a strain in his shoulder. I mean, come on, man. Wait, what was the caller who you guys had? Oh, ow, my stomach hurts. Is it the one who was mad about the tickets? Artie. Yeah, that was that was that was Artie. He was like, they have to play because he bought tickets. Yes, have, he has to play Justin Fields, and they all have to play as hard as they can because because this guy's kids got together and bought him an eight dollar ticket. That was really nice, though. I thought, I mean, tickets are, like, expensive. Oh, that. <laughs> I, this, what ha- hap- this happens all the time in the NFL. Guys show up and they don't know they're hurt until we tell them. Listen, what happens oh. if they get the fourth overall pick? They're not. I don't know, man. Pete Carroll has the best luck ever all the time. Think about how he got out of USC. Well, that wasn't luck. Think about how that he was. Looks. Ooh, they're coming after me. I have to leave now. He knows. He he's not. He's the slickest, and he's likable. The, the seven hundred eight says he had to keep saying hip because they MRI'd every single body part until they finally found something on one of them. Wait, we've got something. What is it? Uh, his hip is sore. Yes, I knew it. 
it's not hard on an NFL player. I, it, it is at this time of year, an NFL player that's played any number of snaps, you can, an MRI will reveal a lot of things wrong. 